Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, I would like to show you how to execute the Python code without installing any software. That means without installing any IDE using the online loop. How to execute the Python code? So there is a product called a Google Collaborator, so which allows anyone to write and execute the Python code through the browser. So one requirement to execute this Python code is internet. So you have you must have the internet then you need not install any uh, explicit ide to write the code and execute the code so just open the browser and just go with a google collab so here the first one is a collab.research.google.com so click on this link so you will get the collaborator home page so just go to the sign in gmail so you can start executing the code so before going to start the new notebook so let me explain you about something hello friends today i came up with a very good content for you so are you a student or a working professional who is looking for a great career in a software development then you have to think about these aspects so what's the trends in the industry and the kind of questions and answers being asked in the interview and first and foremost you have to understand about the recruitment process the hiring process and what's the thought process behind the architecture of great applications like google amazon etc and obviously how to improve the code chef profile so for all these things there is a one place you get the answer that is an academy so in this an academy there are a lot of host or educators available with uh, some of the top companies like Google, Amazon, etc. And they are a seven star coders on CodeChef and are industry experts with years of experience. And definitely they will walk you through their own industry experience and interact with a lot of guests like HR and industry leaders of top companies where they will push, uh, answer your questions and there are also the live sessions available in the an academy so in live sessions you get an opportunity to ask the tech hrs about top 20 interview question and answers and industry leaders directly about the recruitment process in startups and mncs what's the eligibility and how to apply and how they build such a great products even get your resume and your college or personal projects improved by getting them reviewed by the experts and here the schedule or a calendar so every sunday so these are the sessions done so for example accelerating devops by anuj kumar garg scheduled on 1 pm and interviewing hrs by anuj bhaiya by 8 pm and every monday tech bytes by kushbu at 9 pm and every tuesday cloud computing by aditya at 8 pm so like that every day there are different schedules and you can follow these schedules so for example, let us take this cloud computing by Aditya. So this is a cloud computing by Aditya. And in this session, Aditya would cover comparisons in between Azure, AWS, GCP and what are the needs for cloud computing. And he will also discuss about networking, coding, DevOps and certifications of AWS. And the series would cover career paths as well as holistic content for cloud computing and this is session for people who are enthusiastic to learn about cloud computing and how the infrastructure of cloud computing ecosystem works so these are the different lessons given by the aditya and if you want to get this just go to the subscription here you can see the 83 rupees per month and that to be paid as a one-time payment and if you use a my referral code sandeep 10 so you'll get a 10 percent additional discount so you can find here the subscription is around 75 per month so total it will be 899 which is also paid as a one-time payment so while it just subscribe to this career as a software developer subscri subscription and benefit from the an academy welcome back to our session so just go with the file and open the new notebook this is similar to our Jupyter notebook, 
right so just go with the file and new notebook so a new notebook will be opened where you can write the python and code and you can execute right? i will show you so the environment is similar to our jupyter notebook see you can see here so here you can write the code so i am writing a simple code right and similar to our uh, jupyter notebook if you press a normal enter it will the, the cursor will move with the next line and if you just click shift and enter then that statements or instructions will be get executed or simply you can see on the left hand side there is a play button you just click on this play button that implies run run will be initiated so the instructions will be executed so immediately similar to our uh, jupyter notebook the output will be displayed here itself see you will get the output here and here you can give the name for our notebook so i will give some today's name uh, uh, today's date 09092021 and see uh, whatever the work you have done on this notebook will be saved into your google drive automatically so just search for that so go to the google.com and uh, open the drive so here you can observe the uh, apps so just go with the google drive and the drive will be opened and here you can observe 992021 right so this is a notebook which is saved in your google drive so you you may not lose your files working files right so this is our thing we have done and one more way to open the google collaborator is just go to the google drive directly go to the google drive and click on new so you can observe here new click on new and go to the more and here you can observe the google collaborator right so I click on the google collaborator so automatically the google collab will be open and you can now start writing the code and one difference between the jupyter and a uh, collab is the jupyter runs in our local machine and google collab runs from the google server right so the internet is required to run the programs through the google collab and similarly you can also directly import different packages import numpy see there will be no error so you can uh, similar to our jupyter notebook right so here you can observe here it was executed without any error so similarly import pandas yes executed import matplotlib see it was executed right similar to our jupyter notebook you can execute the programs in this google collab right so hope you understood this one so the importance of google collab and uh, the id the notebook id so if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much